Sie schon mal Schiffe da das anzeigen. Murat, so nach ein paar Minuten nach dem Schluss. Murat, a few minutes after the end of a lost penalty shootout, what are your feelings? What hurts the most after such a defeat? Of course, it hurts a lot when you make so many efforts, when you see the chances that we had. I'm very sad for the lads and also for the nation that after such performance, we have to leave the tournament. Of course, a penalty shootout is also a question of luck, but we were quite well into the match. We didn't allow too many things. There was only this one situation where we didn't defend very well. Of course, uh, Saka benefited of this uh, to draw. But nonetheless, we created our own good chances, uh, stayed well into the match. And after 120 minutes with such a performance where we showed that we didn't deserve the knockout, uh, I'm really sad for the players. So that's the biggest sadness. But on the other hand, we can be really proud about our tournament uh, until the end, from the first minute to the end, uh, how we stood as one also, the joy we gave to the nation, this is something that leaves a very positive feeling within me. Hello, Mr. Jakim. Sebastian Stanbury from Mediano in Denmark. Switzerland has a national team that always progresses from the group stage, but seems to always go out in the round of 16 or the quarterfinals. What does your team, your country need to progress to the next level? Well, we've seen the football that we showed against the big teams that we don't need to hide anymore. I think uh, at the end, uh, it's not due to the fact that we got eliminated due to the fact that it wasn't enough. Uh, today, we had our chances, but penalty shootout is a question of luck. Everybody uh, took on his responsibility. Manu came right away to me and said he wants to be the first. Uh, and that's how you live football also. Uh, you give responsibility to your players and you can't be angry at them afterwards uh, against uh, to, towards such players who played a fantastic tournament, especially Manu, who today was the only one who uh, failed his shot. Uh, he played an excellent tournament. I think it was very possible that we caused many problems for big teams and now we are eliminated, unfortunately, in a penalty shootout. So we don't have to let our heads down or reproach ourselves anything. As England, uh, we as well would have deserved to qualify for the next round but this is uh, what is beautiful and what is hurtful also in sports that you have winners and losers and unfortunately today we are not part of the winning team how is he how is he after, after that after the match and um, what what do you say to a player like after after missing a, the, the crucial penalty in a shootout like that what what, what can you say to him Well, there's not many words of solace. Uh, it doesn't matter, no. I said thank you to him for his performance and also how he led the team, how he performed. This was really on the highest level, the level you are used to know from him. And uh, eventually, uh, no words of solace can help him. Of course, there's a uh, yeah, deep emptiness, uh, deep sadness, but this is the kind of sadness where everybody individual has to work through it. But nonetheless, we can be proud of ourselves, how we uh, showed up, not only our style of play, but also the inner life in the team, uh, the staff, the players, uh, all the players who were on the bench. Uh, it wasn't easy for them uh, when they didn't uh, play during six weeks. So in, uh, all in all, it was a very successful campaign. And I think we delivered a lot of uh, joy to our fans here in the stadium and at home. Eventually, we are eliminated and it hurts, 
but in a few days I'm sure it will be better. Sure. My question is, who was planned for the as a fifth uh, shooter? Sierra. It was Vincent Sierra. We trained it uh, twice uh, this week. Uh, as we knew, we are heading into the playoffs. And uh, we saw that a uh, few players were really, really uh, um, sure of uh, scoring a penalty. Manuel also, normally. And yeah, the fifth would have been Sierra. Evening. Beyond being uh, sorry about this uh, result, would you like to stay head coach of the Swiss team? Seeing the players, how we played, this balance between offensive and defensive players who went above themselves. So we won against uh, Italy, almost against Germany. This match today. We are eliminated without a defeat, a real defeat. So from my side, uh, it's a joy to work uh, with the lads. I was really proud during those six weeks to be on the pitch every day, to um, yeah, teach them new ideas that they also um, brought onto the pitch. So it was really a pleasure to watch the lads on the pitch. And then we will see what the future holds up. Uh, first of all, thank you for a great performance uh, at the tournament. And I didn't um, see the details of uh, the draw before penalties, so could you explain one thing? Uh, it's uh, known that uh, uh, the, the statistics is that uh, most, more chances uh, to win the penalty series has the team who shoots first. So how it was possible that um, at the same time both advantages uh, had your opponent uh, they score they they shoot first and they shoot uh, in front of their um, crowd of English uh, fans so could you explain how how did it all happen well first of all the draw for the side was against us and then the first shooter you, you you always try to have that one person who wants to go in front you always want to have that one so first of all it uh, didn't manage we didn't manage to do that today um, in front of the opponent's supporters and we missed our first shot so this is uh, unusual for sure especially as Manuel is very uh, secure normally in penalties uh, very good but uh, yeah, in the end, uh, we lost the penalty shootout like that. Uh, this is football, but we had chances before that to decide the match, to close the match. This is probably uh, a little bit more bothersome for me than uh, getting eliminated in a knockout. Murat, one question. Granit was uh, injured. He had a rupture, a muscular rupture. Can you describe a little bit how it was during the week? Because he showed an excellent performance today. Yeah, not only today, already in the game against Italy, he got injured quite early. He continued to play with uh, while, while he was hurt. So he couldn't train 100% this week. For me, it's a miracle that he could be in the pitch today. It shows, uh, it tells of his character and his will that he uh, was a leader again for the whole team throughout uh, the whole match until the end. You could see uh, in certain moments that uh, he wasn't able to play those long passes, those uh, yeah, long passes. Of course, he was part of the final training yesterday, but he 
wasn't at 100% of his fitness. Nonetheless, a huge, huge compliment to his will, how he led the team today despite uh, his injury. Murat, you mentioned the goal by Saka that led to uh, England winning the game in the very end. This was not the first time that we've had problems on that side with Ebisher defending. So why did you not change anything on that side? Because we had been the best team on the pitch. So why didn't you change anything before the goal? Well, we had control over the match and also Saka, we controlled him all the time. It was the rotation that Steven Suba was pulled away from the middle that he could go into this space. Until then, the team made a really great job, didn't allow one chance, and then the shot was also a little bit hidden, so Jan couldn't see it 100%. On the long post, the goal is getting bigger and bigger, and uh, we didn't defend it cleverly. That was the only option, actually, the only possibility that we gave the opponent to shoot. Uh, of course, we knew about their strengths, we controlled everything. Unfortunately, there was this one situation which led to us conceding this one goal, which we didn't defend 100% perfectly. Hello, Murat. Uh, congratulations for a strong tournament. It was already mentioned, Switzerland normally a sure bet for the elimination round. The second Euro now um, is a little bit mixed feelings. You said it already uh, at level with Germany, with England. The Swiss football now, if you want to say a resume about after this tournament, you're living in the Alps a country of winter sports, but can you say that Swiss football is now has now arrived at the top of world football? Well, before the tournament, there were even some people who said that we were the favorites. Even in this game against England, uh, some said we are the favorite, but we will never be the favorite. It can be in certain moments that we will look like one that we will be very good if everybody pulls everything out of themselves but uh, the market value of our team in comparison to the others is massive we have great players uh, who take on a lot of responsibility and we need that on all levels also the bench has to be perfect in comparison to big nations we don't have the same possibilities but nonetheless we managed to build up something for us uh, that we work as a collective uh, with our style of how we play football that made me really happy really content and we see that we have a few young players also who come in now uh, three players who played uh, under 21 last year and this is one of the nice sides of being a coach uh, to integrate those young talents uh, and not only that they not only get the chance to play after the Euro campaign. So we play a good football, a great football, and we have great young players and also the older, more experienced ones who uh, give on their experience. And I'm really proud, really happy, proud of the team, really happy. Um, of this team spirit. Um, also, everybody who didn't play, they really went along. And these are the things that you plan as a coach, but you can never be sure that it will work 100%. So this campaign was really great from start to finish. And as I said, the chances were there, but unfortunately, we couldn't use them. Murat, you said it's difficult to console Manuel Akanji. Nonetheless, he's leaving the tournament with this image of the missed penalty. You, with your experience, how can you ban this demon from his mind? 
I think eventually any person has to go through those experiences for themselves. There is no good advice for this. Everybody knows themselves. And eventually, the, the beautiful thing is, is it's only a football game. On one hand, the football is giving us so much in life, you can never pay it back. It's incredible. And But these moments are part of the business. It is a missed penalty. And now he, he doesn't need to be bothered any more about it when you see how he played, the responsibility he carried on his shoulders. Uh, he can be very, very proud uh, about his performance. Hello, Murat. Uh, congratulations for the tournament. Granit Xhaka. Um, congratulated a lot uh, in the mixed zone. Now speaking about your future, which factors are the most important for you for the future decision? Well, right after the game, to have a clear mind, to speak about those, thing, those things is not easy. I was focused 100% on this Euro with uh, all decisions. I was happy with all decisions that were taken. These were the right decisions, and the contract was never a topic. We knew where we had to improve. We knew what, we, what were our lessons from the qualifiers and in the preparation. And during this period, uh, yeah, it grew even tighter together, and the team puts it on the pitch. This makes me really happy that the players accept what I'm saying, that I am able to work with uh, these types of players. Unfortunately, now the contract has come to an end, but that doesn't mean that there won't be a continuation. I've always signaled that I would be ready that the priority, my priority, is the national team. There are no conversations or offers from clubs or whatever. I think I am very respectful that the Swiss Federation gave me this opportunity three years ago. And, uh, well, it was a very good start. Maybe there was one month where it was really chaotic in the beginning, where we uh, did not have the results. But I was never nervous. I knew what I was uh, capable of. I knew uh, about the work in front of me. And I'm happy uh, when we have conversations next week. And then we'll see if there will be a, a possible continuation. OK, thank you all. A little a notice. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock at Stuttgart, there will be a last press conference with Murat Yakin. And uh, at 5 p.m., there will be a reception at Zurich at the Europa Square, where we want to thank uh, our fans and all of Switzerland. Thank you. Thank you very much.